You have to decide what is going to happen. What what decision you're going to make after you fail? Yeah, I failed many times, but success is defined by the decisions that you make after failing. I think when I was young doing stand up, someone another stand up told me to try to tell the jokes that only I could tell, um, and I think that's a good uh, piece of advice for anyone who has a creative pursuit. I guess is just try to make the things that you really think only you could make and to be honest to yourself and yeah to make stuff that you know you would like yeah you've had so much success and as you said you know you sold your company but you know yeah but you really were the face of it and you were really the person yeah. that you know launched it have you been surprised by your success so far we were just in every aspect of course. <laughs> oh my god you know i have felt like I felt like an outsider my entire life, you know, even within my own family unit, I really didn't feel like I belonged a lot of times. And so, you know, I'm used to people kind of criticizing or being weirded out by my eccentric, weird style. And, uh, and, you know, to have like people embrace it, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty mind blowing. You know, I still sometimes wonder like, wow, you guys really like me or, you know, <laughs> I just can't like wrap my mind around it. And you know, I always like to end the show on a positive note and I want to talk about, you know, we have a lot of viewers and entrepreneurs who maybe are afraid to, you know, go after their dreams and goals because my show is all about inspiration and inspiring our audience. So, you know, for our viewers that are maybe afraid to pursue their goals or they're going through a hard time, what advice do you have for them to maybe, you know, follow their dreams and become a success like you did? Well, you just got to... I mean, nothing in life is easy, man. Nothing is easy. Yeah. So if you really, really, really want to do something, you stick with it and you just don't give up because eventually the sun is going to shine on you. It'll come around to you. You know what I mean? So like I didn't make it overnight. You know what I mean? It took me a long time to, to break through and become commercially successful, mm -hmm. you know? So it's a grind. But, you know, if you really believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing, you just stick with it. Just stick with it long enough and it'll 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 happen. Talk about some success, but let's talk about the challenges. Like, what kind of challenges did you face in the beginning of your career and how did you get through it? Because it might inspire someone out there who's trying to make it and, you know, maybe is giving up. I mean, my challenges are not uh, normal challenges. I mean, I'm... I come from a very dark path, and my mom, my mom was a drug addict. My dad was a drug addict. I was a drug addict for a long time. I was in jail for three years, and um, that's just the beginning of a couple of my challenges, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but what I'm what I'm trying to say, if you if you want a message for these young people that are listening, I came from the darkest hole that you could imagine, mm -hmm. and if I made it and I did good, you could do it too. It's all about yeah. discipline, mm -hmm. faith in God, and you're gonna make it. You can't always be on top and you must be at the bottom for, sometimes you must you must be there to be able to see uh, how to get yourself out, you know what I mean? And, and it's such a, a big accomplishment when you do. So that was the biggest advice in my life. Uh, it, it gave me patience, it gave me uh, understanding of timing mm -hmm. it gave me um uh just resilience mm -hmm. it gave me this this ambition or this this philosophy to just keep trying trying again if uh, 10 times you cry 10 times you dry your eye you know what i mean mm -hmm. i think my character was forced to find inner strength it was a question of find it or die and I think my character is strong anyway. He's a neurosurgeon, he's a doctor, he's a, he's a thinker. But I think in this case, hi. In this, <laughs> in this case, he needed to, you know, partner up with someone he didn't know. And he had to trust her instincts as well as she had to trust his instincts, you know. 
and they got satisfied. I continue to grow, and and um, uh, so that that's cool. It's it, it's fun to watch people hate, mm. knowing that the hate is being generated only because they quit and I didn't. Yeah. Because I'm not really. I don't really think that they're hating on me. I really don't think that they're they're talking about me. I, I think they're really talking to themselves about their own frustration of like because they could have done exactly what I did and didn't. Mm-hmm. And and I know anyone can do what I did. Anyone. If if, if people did exactly what I had done along the way, mm-hmm. and there's other people that have done a thousand times bigger than I anything I've even you know partially accomplished, but. Anybody can achieve what I've done. And last but not least, you know, our show is all about inspiration. That's why I created this platform to inspire people to live their best life and show success stories like yours. So what advice do you have for anyone that is afraid to follow their dreams and take that next, take their dreams to that next level? They're afraid, they're not seeing results. What would you say to them to encourage them to live their dreams? If you're already doing what you love, you've got success. And if if you haven't reached this level you think you want to get to, then you're going to have to work harder. Hmm. Like you're going to have to do things that you were not doing. The things that got you to where you're at are not going to be enough now. You're going to have to add to that. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. I really don't believe that the universe, God, and serendipity, fate, insert whatever you know noun you want there, will conspire on your behalf. Mm-hmm. To sell it something, I do believe you, you've got to authentically love it in order to do all of the harder stuff that goes along with being successful. Let's, yeah. let's talk about one of the milestones you've had in your career because there's, I'm sure there's been so many you know, over the years, but what's one milestone that really stands out for you um, in your career that where you were like, okay, I made it? <clears throat> um, the milestone was, um, well, I'm gonna, show, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do two. So, um, you know, in, in the music business, we really had to prove ourselves back in the days, you know, mm-hmm. like, um, you know, growing up in LA, it was, you know, music music industry was predominantly like gangster music back in the day. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, we would, we would make demos, demonstrations and send them to like record companies. And, you know, we would always get like, you know, cause we were so different. We were, mm-hmm. you know, break dancers and, positive lyrics and and just um the culture of hip-hop you know yeah and you know they were like oh you know you guys are talented but i don't think your music is that is tangible it's, wow. it's tangible and you know yeah and you know it was that was pretty devastating to hear like you know i'm like tangible what is that <laughs> is that orange <laughs> They tell me it's tangerine, tangible. No, <laughs> and uh, we really had to prove ourselves. You know, we 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 um, were like, you know, we would not, we would we take no for an answer, and we're gonna prove it. We're gonna prove it that our music is tangible, whatever that <laughs> word is. Well, if you can leave one piece of advice that maybe that someone gave you or a mantra you live by, what's something that, what piece of advice would you give our audience on kind of achieving success and kind of believing in yourself? Well, I, you know, I, I, I think you just hit the nail. You have to believe in you before you sell you to anybody else, you know? Yeah. Uh, in, in my case, uh, if everybody could see my vision, then they'd go do it, you mm-hmm. know? So, tell your vision. So if, if you're selling your vision and most people aren't grasping to it, it simply means that's because you're special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if everybody could see it, then they just go do it. You know what I mean? But if, if you got a plan and a vision for yourself, uh, you really just got to work hard to it. I like doing things and people thinking, wow, I didn't expect that. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. uh, and that's kind of my little high that I go for. I like proving people wrong mm-hmm. in that sense. They'd be like, oh, well, you know, that can't happen. This, da, 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 da. 
da 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 And then you just, you know, blow them out the box, you know. Not that it would change because they'll still, you know, unfortunately in this game, sometimes people fail their way up. But Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can fly higher than the sky